to the food more base than Boots and Collins. You versus me, that's like Ali versus Foreman. God act. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Tyler and in today's video I have some Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay for you all. But anyways guys, I have a story for you and this story is a story that I told around three years ago on my channel, one of the very first stories I ever told. And I don't think a lot of you guys have actually heard or seen this video because I titled it completely different, like I didn't even title it pertaining to the story really, I titled it mainly pertaining to the gameplay which is like some shitty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay in the day. So I just wanted to tell this story again because I feel like a lot of you guys haven't seen it, it only had like maybe 800 to 900 views on it again just because it was titled based mainly off the gameplay but if you guys have read the title already you guys probably already know what the story is going to be about it's going to be about the first time that i smoked weed and like really got high so technically my first time smoking weed and it's actually a pretty good story so i figured a lot of you guys would enjoy hearing it today but before i go ahead and jump into the story i do want to mention that i'm going to be live streaming modern warfare remastered after this video so the minute this video is done my stream will be up and live should be streaming for probably around like three hours tonight so if you guys want to come and stop by and say what's up, it'll be first linked down below in the description. But getting to the story, this happened way, way back at the beginning of my year in ninth grade, way at the beginning of the year. So at this point, I had smoked weed a couple times, but I didn't really inhale it correctly. Like I'd smoked weed maybe two or three times prior to this incident. But again, like I said, the first couple times that I smoked weed, I just didn't know how to inhale it correctly. I just smoked joints. And so I wasn't really getting high. But pretty much my friend and I had got this plan. We wanted to do like a little roll kind of contest or type situation. So the plan was my friend was going to roll a joint and I was going to roll a joint and we were going to ride the bus to school in the morning and meet up and go to the park across the street from our school. So the night before that day of school I ended up going into my bathroom at my house rolling up this joint and throwing it into like a little hollowed out pen and putting it in my backpack to bring to school with me. So I put this joint in my bag and I go ahead and proceed like go to bed, wake up the next morning and end up getting on the bus to go to school. And at this point the whole plan was kind of in motion you know wheels were turning things were happening. So I get off the bus at school and I'm waiting around kind of where the buses drop people off for my friend and he comes and meets me up and so my friend and I end up walking all the way across through the whole school campus across the street to this big ass park. We end up going from one side all the way in the entrance of the park all the way back to like the other side of the park to this weird ass like hidden kind of electronic bathroom thing. And the reason that we went to this particular bathroom was just because it was like a single use bathroom only one person could use it at a time. So my friend and I end up going into this bathroom together and we sit here we shut the door make sure it's locked both of us pull out our joints and we just start smoking these joints in the bathroom you know and so we're going passing the two joints back and forth you know smoking joints and the joint that i had ended up rolling was just like i mean both of them were rolled fucking awfully but the one that i had rolled just like it burned so quickly so i had rolled this joint and it just like mine burned through all the way my friends was almost done and we're still sitting inside this bathroom you know just finishing up the last joint when all of a sudden my friend is sitting here and he looks down at his phone and he gets a text from these two girls and so these girls text with my friend and they were about a block away they go hey we're we're only like a block away from you guys we have some weed i heard you guys have some weed do you want to match up and smoke another joint and so i wasn't like super high really i again didn't really know how to inhale correctly so like i was semi inhaling the joints but not fully and so i wasn't like super super high or anything yet so my friend and i kind of decide like yeah we'll go meet these girls go smoke another joint with them and then go to our class so we end up walking like another block away through the whole park again Again, up onto like another side another block away from the school and we end up meeting up with these two girls and like walk into this weird little cut alleyway behind a bunch of people's houses and so my friend and I and these two girls who we ended up meeting up end up smoking one more joint and when I tell you by the end of this joint I was just fucking gone like I was so high and so my friend and I we finish up the joint we end up all going towards back to school and these two girls I had no idea what class they were in so they kind of just like split off from us but my friend and I we had gym class for for the first period so we ended up going straight into the school straight through the courtyard and just walking straight into our gym class like we had just come into school late so we stepped foot into the gym and we realized that nobody's there like none of our classes there which neither of us really panicked or worried anything about because it was very common for us to go into gym if we were late and them not be there because they would end up going outside and doing like a couple laps around the track to begin the gym class off 
So we had figured they just went out to the track. So we just walked around from the gym, around the parking lot of the school, and over to the track stadium area. And we just kind of casually walked onto the track like we had been there the whole day already like doing stuff. And so we get onto this track and we start walking around. And I was high as fuck. Like I had this insane indica body high going on. Like it was the craziest high I'd ever had in my life. And so we're walking around the track. And for those of you who know like what fake turf is on football fields and stuff, our track has like a big football field in the middle of it and it was covered in fake turf. And I don't know why they do this, but like to put the fake turf down, they always put these weird little rubber pellets in the grass or put these rubber pellets everywhere, kind of like a dirt supplement in a way. So as we were walking around the track, I just remember I kept getting these tiny little rubber pellets inside my shoes and I could feel them moving around like under my feet. And at the time I had such an intense and such an insane body high that it was making my whole foot feel like it was tingling, like it was the craziest feeling I have ever had in my life. Like when I say it literally felt like I was walking on clouds, that's exactly how it felt. Like it was exactly like that. It was just the weirdest fucking feeling I've ever felt in my entire life. And I know the way I just explained it might sound really weird and kind of hard to understand, but I don't really know a better way to explain it into more detail. Like I really don't. It was just a really, really obscure feeling. And so after this kind of feeling happens, you know, I'm continuing to walk around the track. I think I did like two or three laps maybe, but the whole time I was just talking with my friend. And I remember around like the second lap I ended up stopping at my backpack and like digging through my bag trying to find some lunch food for me to eat and I don't remember exactly what I got but I think I just grabbed like a sandwich or something like I grabbed the main thing that was for my lunch I remember that and I just was walking around the track eating my lunch just completely munching out I was high as hell and I didn't get in trouble or anything like I didn't cause too much suspicion but my god I was high as fuck and so we finish up walking around the track and we go back into the gym and sit on the bleachers and I remember being there on the bleacher sitting next to my friend and a few of my other friends who didn't come and smoke with us. And I remember just sitting here on these bleachers just talking to my friends like joking, laughing, having a great time. And at one point I just really really vividly remember this and I don't know why but at one point I was sitting there on the like seat type chairs of the bleachers and I remember looking over to my friend and just going I am in a dream right now. This feels like a dream. I told him I could just sit back right now and lean straight back and I would go straight through the bleachers. Like I wholeheartedly thought that I was dreaming when I was high as shit in my school. But I mean in the end that was really all that happened. It wasn't much more eventful after that. After my gym class I started coming down a little bit. I mean my classes at school at this point were like an hour and a half long so once I was kind of done with my second period I wasn't really high anymore. And again nothing else really eventful or funny happened but I figured you guys would enjoy this video and if you did at any point be sure to leave a like down below it always greatly helps me out and supports my channel if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe and make sure that notifications bell is checked because it always again helps you get notified whenever i post new videos and it helps me out a lot but you guys know i love you all thank you all so much for watching today's video or life story i'm out peace